until you're being pink? Definitely not. It won't even come off when I scrub. Why don't you like it? There's an appeal to being pink. Look at Ice Cube. Or should I say, strawberry milk cube? I'm yummy! Hmm, I do see the appeal. Hey guys, check out these exquisite gems I dug from my shade's house backyard. Skeleton, those are Ruby's remains. How dare you! Oh. Well, weren't you the one who sold her innards for billions in profit a few months ago? Yeah, I'll never live down that smear campaign, will I? But guys, I miss Ruby. I wish I could show her my strawberry milky self. Did someone say strawberry milk? I gotta try some! That didn't taste like strawberry at all! That's because it was lead paint. Rest in peace, your brain. Oh, oh dear. You. I feel a lot better now! And I'm glad the lead is out of your system. Anyway, your Ruby, didn't you die in Fry's car crash? How are you back? I was dead, but I recovered myself with the HPRC Biff Botet. Whoa, really? I didn't know dead people could do that. I didn't either, but dying near that Yoya light allowed my spirit to stay partially alive somehow. Dying near Yoya light lets your spirit stay partially alive? That might mean our dead friend Pencil might be alive too! I sure am! Hooray! Free Smarters! Since we're all alive together for the first time in a while, wanna celebrate in the Clubhouse of Awesomeness? Oh, I love the Clubhouse of Awesomeness. I'd be so sad if it were endangered. Good thing that'll never happen. The Clubhouse of Awesomeness is endangered. We don't have time for you to go act, Pencil. It's time for cake at steak. What the? Who the fluff is Lewis? Lottery winner. Whatever. Hello, Woe Bunch. I have collected you in the clubhouse of awesomeness for your elimination. Oh yeah, the Eiffel Tower is also slowly sinking into corrosive lead paint vomit. So if we stay in here too long, we'll fall in the vomit too and corrode. Yikes! I would not like to corrode! I'm too young to die! You and me, Bonnie. I would not like to corrode either. Okay, yes, corrosion is scary, I suppose. But where is Coiny? Well, he's flying in space 10 billion miles away, and we don't have the budget to retrieve him. What? That is extremely cruel and unfair to Coiny. Well, why don't you grab him? With your arms. Oh my gosh, Nico! I'm so nervous about being eliminated! I have no idea! I'm super scared too! Well, I'm not! Cool story, bro! Wanna know why? It's because of my newest product, the Win Token Printer! It prints Win Tokens? What's that? They originate from before your time, Nickel! Using a Win Token at Cake at Stake voids half your votes! I used one once! Oh, my mint! Well, if that's true, can I have a Win Token, dear comrade Yellowface? Hmm. No! What the penny? Why not? Because these are all for me! And also, um, because you're pink, which is not as bad as purple, but still worse than yellow. Enough talking! Let's see who won the prize, because they got the most likes from viewers. The winner is Bonnie! Yay! Spin the prize wheel! So my prize is to swap the vocal cords of two team members of my choice? Hmm, I'll pick Corny and Neil, so we can hear more of Corny's voice down here on Earth! Well, it's day 60 of being in this cash register. Oh my mint, why do I sound like Needle? None of my life makes any sense. Ugh. Bobby, what's your secret? Every time your team has been up for voting with you, you've won the prize. Wow! So did my vocal cords switch? No way! I actually sound like Coiny! Ben, this is so surreal! Hmm. It is nice to hear his voice again, but I'm not fooled. You're still Needle, and Puffy's still on the hook to bring Coiny back. I can agree with that. Okay, on to the fun part, the elimination. If you're safe, you'll get cake. This time, the cake is a plane ticket out of this sinking clubhouse. I want the ticket. All right, the first three Wobunchers safe are... Bobby, Coiny, and Pin each with around 3,000 dislikes. No corroding for me! Good luck, Spongy! Bye! Bye? 
Wait, who's that? Oh no, it sounded just the four of us, Nickel. It's still so weird that I sound like this. But anyway, look how shiny Yellowface's win tokens are. Maybe he can lend us some? Don't bother. The bigot won't lend you any. Nickel and Nino are also safe, with 4,000 and 5,000 dislikes respectively. Phew, we didn't need them anyway. No, we didn't. You won't catch me corroding. Wishing you the best, Bungie. Bye! Oh, uh, bye? Huh? Who's that? So now, the elimination is down to Spongy and Yellowface. Oh, my Sponge Factory, I'm so nervous. But well, I'm not. It is time to reveal the votes. So, Yellowface, you got the most votes. So it's the end of the road for you. I use my win token. Oh. It's a bit late to be playing tokens, but I'll accept it because I'm nice. Which means, Yellowface, your effective vote count is reduced from 21,683 to 10,841. Oh my yay! That's still the highest, though. Not for long, because I'm gonna play my second win- Snatch. Oh, what was that? Mother of Color Wheel, it can't be! <laughs> it is I, Purple Face! And I have stolen your win tokens! You fool! You clown! You absolute chromatic aberration! Yes, calling for duty! Purple face! Time and time again, you've proven you have no morals! The host of this show will not stand for your crimes of theft! I will stand for it! You're not helping my case, Puffy. Yellowface, since you don't have any win tokens left, you have been eliminated. Oh. Uh. Puffy, trying to have a climactic standoff with my main rival right now. Main rival, you say? <laughs> Don't you mean fashion inspiration? That's ludicrous. <laughs> then why are you wearing my shoes? Oh, huh? total slip shoes so well. Oh! Ah. Huh? Well, you do seem like you have a lot of rifts in your friendship. I'll let you sort those out in private. Those were the ugliest shoes I've ever seen! Well, lucky for you, I'm planning on manufacturing a thousand more! That's unacceptable! I will not let you do that! And how are you gonna stop me, genius? My latest product! Go. My beryllium fortress, destruction impossible! Resistant to acid, and takes six plus years to break through! And for you, a hundred percent off! <laughs> wow, they sure are noisy. Hopefully they're resolving their issues. Wait, what's all this acid around me? Whoa, why is this locked? Uh, let me out! It's so painful! <laughs> yep, I bet they resolved everything. This is inspiring. Puffy, did you say inspiring? What about Yellowface's death is inspiring to you? Well, why don't you spin the contest wheel to find out with your arms? Stop being so rude to Pin, Puffy. But anyway, I'll spin it. See, I'm inspired by watching contestants trapped in slowly sinking rooms. So here's how today's challenge is gonna work. Wait, before we start, can I switch back to Team No Name? I figure the yo-yo light isn't in Ruby's hands anymore. It's in my backyard, so I don't need Free Smart no more. Sure, you can switch back. Yay! Ooh, the paint thinning machine I ordered just arrived. Can I use it too? Sure. You know, I got this from Yellowface's online store, but Yellowface is dead, so I wonder who shipped it. By the way, I'm devastated we lost the Clubhouse of Awesomeness. Okay. Anyway, today's challenge is to play charades. Each team will choose one member to be their first performer, who will be teleported into their soundproof trash compactor. They will be shown a phrase, which they'll have to gesture to their team as the ceiling slowly descends. If the team members can correctly guess the phrase, the ceiling is reset and another member will be swapped into the chamber. If they can't, the ceiling will crush the member to death. Your team will be up for elimination if all members die. Got that? Yeah, I guess so. Wonderful. Then let's get started. Each team shall pick their first performer. Ice Cube's gotta go in the trash compactor. What? Well, I no longer believe Icy is garbage compared to Match, but it's too scary for the rest of us. Icy's just gotta... Pencil, do you not remember what you just said about seeing Icy's value as a team member? 
So, what are we thinking, Woe Bunchers? Well, Coiny, uh, I, I mean, Needle, I'm thinking that, uh, his voice just reminds me we need to get Coiny back from space. I agree, but by now he's already billions of miles away. I'm not here, Bin. What? Yeah, we need to focus on the contest at hand. I volunteer as tribute! Phew, thanks, Bommy. I was panicking I'd have to be the first. Okay, book's right. I see don't gotta, but I don't want to do it either. All right, Free Smart, let's think. The shorter a contestant's stature, the more time they'll have to gesture before the ceiling crushes them. So, uh, I am the flattest when I lay on my side, so I should go in. Wow, Book, we appreciate your sacrifice. Um, Puffy, my entire team is dead or glued to a tree. Can you recover them? Well, the only recovery center east of the canal was the HPRC Biff Botet, which I ordered online for the Eiffel Tower last episode, and that's been dissolved in acid. So no, I can't recover that. Oh man. Oh wait, Book, can I borrow your laser shooter? Book's competing right now. I'll take that as a yes. Did you really have to use such a shark hook? Hooray! No name friends, I'm back on your team. For realsies? Yay! I'm so happy we're together again. I hope nothing separates us. Tennis ball. Go into the chamber of death and do whatever the machine says. Ah, uh, okay. All three teams have selected their first gesture. Wobunch picked Bommy, Free Smart picked Book, and Team No Name picks Tennis Ball. The charades begin in five, four, three, two, one, go! Rowing a boat? A sweater? Having hands? What? What is Book doing? I think she's churning butter. <laughs> Wait, wrong answers make the crusher crust faster? That is correct. Yikesies. Guys, it's obvious. Book is trying to unclog her yoyo toilet. <laughs> Ruby, let's think now. Is this how you unclog your toilet? Yeah, that's the way everyone does it, isn't it? Oh, my sewing store. Bommy dancing is so mesmerizing. But what object is he gesturing, Coin? I mean, Needle? That's an easy one. It's a sweater. Wait, I'm the gesturer now? Hold on a sec. I didn't realize guessing correctly meant you go into the machine next. No! Nickel has to realize we can't hear him. Seriously? How can I gesture having hands if I, you know, have no hands? Price, do you know what tennis ball's doing? Uh, swinging his legs. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, I've got an idea. Himself. Eggs? Not himself. <laughs> Gelatin, do you know what trade tennis ball is not? What is tennis ball not? <laughs> Maybe good at building shields last episode. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Your little joke could kill our team member. Are you okay with that? Well, uh, <laughs> you seem okay with killing team members when you crashed your car. Enough! Oh my gosh! Stop fighting, team! My body's gonna get squished! Oh my word, I'm running out of room to row this boat. I gotta figure something out, or I'm dead! Alright guys, is it time to write our eulogies for Book? She's about to die. Wait, no! Look! I see you're right! Book's pointing at the word! Oh, right, I can't read. Yes, you can, Ruby! No, I can't! I didn't go to gym school! <laughs> ah, all right, you're right. You were discriminated against. Anyway, it says rowing. <laughs> ah, that was terrifying! Why couldn't you tell I was rowing a boat? Because you row boats the way I unclog toilets! <laughs> I would know this because I experienced this. Nicole is playing evil beefy. Wait, Spongy, no! Phew, I'm out. Oh no, I was worried Spongy would say the right answer because he's our biggest team member and he... <laughs> <laughs> ...might not fit in that trash compactor. Oh dear, oh dear, they'd better get this. I'm elastic, but not this elastic. All I'm saying is, you're responsible for Ruby Pencil and Tennis Ball's deaths. <laughs> you're a cute little murderer. Hey, you better watch what you say. Wanna catch these hands? Well, uh, looks like that's not happening. Hi, TV. Let's see what my gesture is. I'm blowing out a candle. Hey, that's not too hard. Oh, oh, oh. What is Pence Pence doing? Let me guess, Ruby. You think that. Is Pence Pence unclogging a yo yo toilet? <laughs> Team Wo 
Oh, Budge has lost a member. Now they are down to five. Four if you don't count Coiny. The other teams also have four. I am sad about Spongy's death, but at least he's in a better place now. Where am I? What is this place? Hello? Man, I can't tell what Fries is trying to do. Gelatin? Yeah? Did you mean it when you said I couldn't build a good shield last episode? Oh. Wait, you could hear that? I thought the chambers were soundproof. Well, I've been trying to read lips ever since you and Fiery left the team, so I could tell what was happening with Free Smart when they were far away. Oh, well, that's impressive, but I didn't mean it about the building shields thing, okay? It was just a joke. It isn't a joke to me. My trebuchet failed, and now my shield failed. Are you calling me a failed inventor? No, 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 I'm not. Golf Ball's the one with the factory. Golf Ball's the one with the dream sauce. Everyone listens to her because they think she's the good inventor, and I'm the bad one. That's not true. That's not true. Well, um, actually. Let's do this. Ooh, I know just what to do. OMPF, you're coiny. <laughs> it's like I got the voice and Bommy's got the pose. Together we're the whole package. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny. Oh my god, it. so funny. Hee <laughs> hee, my turn now. Let's see who I get. Uh... <laughs> no way, you're gelatin. <laughs> Joseph, That's face hilarious, so silly. <laughs> I can't wait to see who I gotta do. Ah, well, Corny was a trickster, so I can be a trickster too. Oh, my mint! You're Puffball when she betrayed Team No Name. This is too much. All right, who do I get to imitate? Non-existy? Oh God, I, I don't even know what he looks like. I uh. Guess I'll channel my inner non-existent self. <laughs> um, what is Nickel doing now? Oh dear, I don't think Nickel understands the rules of this game. What's going through Nickel's head? His brain must be empty. Now forgive him, Pin. Everyone can be a blithering dum-dum sometimes. You're right, like you often are when we need you the most. The, the end is near. I might have one more shot at this. I gotta blow this candle the best I ever have. Time to use my finest exhaling technique. I, I, uh, uh... It's me, Boy Boy! You brought me back to life! No way! Is that Bubble? Yay! Yay! You're okay! Technically, the answer to Pencil Charade is not Bubble. So that is an incorrect answer, Ice Cube. <laughs> Free Smart is down to three living members. Wobunch has five, and Team No Name has four. Dear Soap Bubble, hooray! I must express my unbounded elation that you have returned. Where have you been all this time, Bubble? I am not Bubble. E.U. Spongy, why do you look like that? You're even uglier than I remember you, which is saying a lot. I humbly request you to stop acting so impolite, Pencil. Furthermore, I will also request you look at yourself. <laughs> I have to do the macaroni dance? Oh, that's an easy one. I used to do this all the time at parties and I can even do it with my eyes closed. Left arm out, right arm out, left palm up, right palm up, left shoulder. What left is shoulder, Pin doing? I have no idea, right but head, it's so dumb, I'll head, crush her out of spite. Apple, orange, banana, Oh no, not my fellow sharp ally. Well, Bommy, now it's down to you and me. Technically. Corny's still out there, so Wobunch is at three living members. FreeSmart and Team No Name also have three. Remember, whichever team loses all their members first is up for elimination. What? How am I gonna do that? Hmm, I got an idea! Oh, I know! It's Icy's ugly face! Pencil better be glad she's not here to witness this. What's she doing now? Hmm. Upside down face? No, handstand face. Oh my word, what could it be? Duh, it's Icy's beautiful face. Oh, cause it's inverted. Wow, Icy, I'm honored to have witnessed your face of beauty. You're welcome. Dear Erasable Drawing Utensil, have you any conception of what is happening right now? Warmest greetings, American five cent denomination, potato based consumable, and pushpin. I, like you three, 
have no conception of what is happening right now. That is sorrowful news. I would like to alert you, the combustion happening near me is at a temperature far above my comfort level. Combustion, unfortunately, I am unfamiliar with the definition of that word. Oh, you mean fire. You are correct in your assessment. Congratulations to us for our clear communication. Congratulations to us for our clear communication. I would like to join the conversation too. What could that be? Oh, gelatin's the sender scoop thrower. Okay, so my next phrase is... Oh, my tennis ball factory. There's no way that's real. My word is... Playing toss the dirt. Ruby, I thought you said you couldn't read. Book? I thought these chambers were soundproof. Ruby, I was reading your lips. Book? I just lied that I couldn't read, so I could gain some sympathy points from Leader Pencil. Both of you, reading lips is against the rules, so as punishment, I will blindfold book. <laughs> and change Ruby's phrase. Aw, oh, man! Don't lip read again, or there will be bigger consequences. Got that? Yes, we got it. Okay, it looks like my next word is eating sugar. That's easy, I do that all the time. It looks like Ruby is eating something. But the question is, what? Well, I can't see, so the fate of the team rests on you, Icy. I bet she's eating vegetables. <laughs> you know, those are bitter. I'm eating something sweet. Notice my smile. Oh, oh, I know. She's eating the poison remains of a dead contestant. <laughs> what? They're not getting it? All right, I gotta show them what I'm like after I eat the sugar. Whee! Oh no! What's that noise? It sounds chaotic. Ruby's. Um. Whee! 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 Whoa! Whoa! Ruby's not the chamber over. Oh my word! Man, it's rolling down a hill. Well, let's go chase it. Whee! Whoa! 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 Whee! 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 Salicylic acid? I mean, I know what that is. But does he? All right, let's give this a try. Um, oh my gumdrop, this is a hard one. Come on, gelatin, come on. Mm, I don't know, this is a doozy. Little jelly, you must know acetyl salicylic acid. I have faith in you. Maybe this has something to do with my shades house? I mean, business there is going well. I believe in you. You're smarter than your looks let on. Oh, it's tic-tac-toe. <laughs> You're bandaging your leg. You're frying an egg. Yup. You're delivering a pizza. Yep. You're inhaling helium. Yep. You're acronymizing the last five phrases we just gestured. Yep. You're writing a book. Correct. You're tossing away the trash. Correct. You're flying a kite. Correct. Um, oh man, I can't figure this one out. What's Icy doing? She's sort of getting larger, pointing at things, and swinging a knife around. Oh, I know. Icy's imitating Pin, which she gaslit us into thinking I was suppressing Icy's race to stop her from swinging Pin and forcing her to go to Match's dance party with me instead. Which Icy, according to Pin, supposedly did want to do what she actually did. That can't be right. Oh, I can't see. Now what? Come on, gelatin. You have to get this. You're my only doi, hope. Doi, 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 doi. I think the answer is a uh, piece of poop. <laughs> ah, this is so frustrating. Everyone on my team is such a numbskull. I try to put up with them, but they let me down like this. Now I'm going to be crushed, crushed to death, and it's going to be so painful. How is it that nobody on my team knows anything about chemistry? Wait, maybe there is 
someone. Someone out there far in the depths of the universe who... Distinguished colleagues, I find it of utmost importance to deduce how we were transported to this alternate dimension. Dear Pushpin, it is my belief that we are here because we reached a state incompatible with life in the overworld, all in the same manner and by the same compressing apparatus. Dearest American five cent denomination, what is your implication? Nickel saying we all got crushed by trash compactors, and that's how we got here. I don't know why you're talking like that, but I'm not gonna do it. Cherished compatriots, I must posit that the speech of this deluded fellow was of extreme difficulty to understand. I concur. What is Tennis Bow doing? I have been glued here for three months and gosh darn it, I am so bored. Uh, this is like the beginning of an object show I watched recently. Wait, what's going on with the moon? It's lighting up. I... Uh, huh? I don't believe my eyes. Is the moon tracing out the shape of... Uh, no, it can't be! Acetyl salicylic acid! Yay! My plan worked! And now I'm free from the trash compactor! Congrats, my boisterous boy, TB! I have no idea how you did that, but I'm glad you're out! Yeah, it was thanks to my laser pointer that I constructed! I'm not too shabby of an inventor after all, am I? <laughs> no, uh, I guess you're not, but, uh, we should... We should what? Appoint me the title of best inventor ever? No, we should! Tell Golf Ball what's going on. Huh? I'm out! OMGBF! I'm out! I'm finally free of that science for second tree after all this time! Ah, I can finally move my legs around again! Is it freedom nice? <laughs> what is going on now? Oh, don't worry, Golfie. This is an easy challenge. Just read the phrase on the display and gesture it. And then if we guess it correctly, you'll be free! Tennis ball. What? The chambers are soundproof. Oh no! Golf ball doesn't know what to do in there! Now, both Team No Name and Free Smart have two members, and Wobot has three. I don't think Coiny being in space counts, Puffy. I don't think you count, Needy. Don't call me Needy! Oop, I just received intel that Coiny has finally asphyxiated to death in space. So yes, Needle, your team is down to two members. Coiny's dead? Uh, that's so sad. I suppose. But besides that, don't you have another team member to save? Oh, my sewing store, Pommy! I forgot to guess your gesture! What is it? <laughs> oh, that's so easy to figure out. Your gesture is... <laughs> no more guessy-guessy for you, Needy. Your team's doomed. Maybe you should have thought about that before forcing these horrible headphones on me four months ago. <laughs> What's that? How did I get the headphones off? Well, it turns out the super glue yellow face you use is the same water-soluble glue we found in the evil hotel. So I just sprinkled some water on it and voila! Gelatin, stop fighting with Needle and guess my gesture already! I forgot about you, TB. How could I? Uh, you're trying to depict, um... TB, slow down, please. I'm trying my hardest to figure it out. Uh... Oh, I see. As TB's greatest friend, I know what I'm supposed to say here. Tennis ball. You are the greatest inventor to ever exist! That's not the answer. What? I swear that was the moral of the story, right? Gelatin? More like, thing to step in. Phew! I was just about to explode under the pressure. And with Gelatin's demise, Team No Name has fully died off. 
which means they are up for elimination. How did we get off so easy? You know, I see. I think after our trash compactor shattered, Puffy just forgot to give us a new one. So that's why she let us walk off scot-free. Wow, sometimes the best strategy involves destroying things. True. <gasps> but where's Pencil? Admired acquaintances, I warmly appreciate your gracious company. However, I am still combusting, and I am frankly disappointed none of you are taking initiative to assist me with this matter. I ain't helping someone who called me ugly.